Hi, this is Jared Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Lima, and um, my video today is unfortunately about sharing a fault with you. Um, my IC7610 has stopped making output power properly. So, to give you a demonstration and to show that there's no shenanigans, the first thing I'm going to do is um, give it a full factory reset. Okay, so, um, what is that? Others, reset, all reset. Yes, I would like to do that. As you can see, um, mine's on, well, I'll show you as well. Mine has the latest uh, firmware. It was um, applied um, prior to the, uh, uh, sorry, after the issue um, to see if it was uh, something that could be fixed in firmware, but it doesn't look like it can be. So that's been fully factory reset. There's no editing here. Um, and I'll go into this menu here. So you've got your standard settings there. You've, oh, sorry, I'll just change it to uh, um, ready and I'll go into the quick menu with drive gain, it shows drive gain. These are standard settings, 100 watts um, output and 50% drive gain. Now, if we watch closely here on my Pelstar, which is in bypass, which means the antenna tuner is not in use, and it's going to antenna three, which is my dummy load. I will now key up the radio. We're making a peak power of eight watts. If I use the multi knob to address, adjust the drive gain up, when this fault first occurred, going to 64% would actually take it to 100 watts. It's now only taking it to 28. If I crank the drive knob up to about 80, we'll get, we get 75 watts out. If I go up to 90, we get about 94. Now, as I said, this fault appeared before the full the firmware update, so it's not due to the firmware update, and it does appear to be something like the, the drive transistors failing in the radio. Um, no idea why. This, ampli uh, this radio, as you can see, um, I have an amplifier. Um, I have another amplifier too, a little one, and the radio itself has never put out more than about 30 watts pep. So, it hasn't been pushed hard. I have no idea why this fault would have, would have developed. Um, as you can see, the finals are still capable of developing rated power. It's just that the drive grain needs to be ever inched higher and higher. Um, interestingly, um, the fault wasn't as obvious at first on SSB. So if we go over to SSB, sorry, SSB, Uh, Victor Kilo 3, Bravo Lima testing. Well, we're not even making any output at the moment, but um, I have factory reset it, so I will turn the mic gain back up. And let's just put it at full, just to be thorough. And I'll turn the compressor on. Victor Kilo 3, Bravo Lima testing. 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 Our peak output was about 28. You might have missed that, but it was about 28. Now when the, false fir the fault first developed, um, at 50 drive gain, it would still make full rated power on SSB, but not FM already. Here's FM, eight watts. Go back into the menu, drive gain, up to 88, makes about 93. Now, this, as I said, this has gotten progressively worse over the day. The radio had not been used um, to transmit prior to, um, prior to this fault developing today. Um, I'd recorded some audio um, coming out of the speaker jack, that was about it. I'd done the exact same thing with the exact same recorder to my 7300 with no issues. So there you go. Um, I can't imagine having an external speaker and a microphone plugged uh, and a microphone held in front of it causes issues. But who would think? Um, I'm not really willing to push it um, too much further to demonstrate the, the, I guess, the fault to show that it's getting worse. Only because uh, you know I don't want to completely kill. Um, Look, 
what I would assume to be some sort of component uh, that's part of the drive transistors, or even worse, uh, something that's part of the main PA board. So um, I was the first to do an unboxing video. I'm not going to literally do a reboxing video, but that's where this is headed up.